Uh, hey YouTube, uh, this is YHP40 and uh, this is gonna be a quick uh, download uh, video and how to type of thing and the how to part is gonna be how to make a yes no batch program where you can enter in a value and ask for a result so you, I, we can go through um, simple things like do you like pie and it'll say yes no in parentheses and you type in yes enter and it'll come up with the result and you can exit out of it okay so uh... but i would prefer notepad plus plus for this because you can actually see what line they're on on code so we're just going to click notepad plus plus and then you're going to click download here and you're going to click download the current version and you're going to download this i've already downloaded it so let's install it real quick Pretty sure that I already have it here, but let's just reinstall it just in case I don't. Let's just leave that normally because um, it's just a bunch of stuff that you might not need or want for that reason. Just keep it s simple and basic. I'll pause the video real quick here. Okay, um, let's run the notepad here. Okay, one second, let's open it up here. Okay, there. It opened up. Sorry about this kind of slow here, but okay, this is just a thing that you really don't need. You click that and you just close this. You see, you'll end up with this. And so, as you see, it shows what line you're on, which means what command are you on. So, I like this because of that. So, let's we're gonna come up with a um, program that tells you all about. Um, I, it's gonna say it's gonna ask you do you like pie and then parentheses yes or no and then you can type in y enter and it'll say you like pie and then it'll say click to exit in the first video I said it said press any key to continue and this one we're gonna change it to press to any key to exit so I'll be showing you how to do that so we'll start out with our three basic lines of code that we normally have um, check my other video if you don't know what this three basic lines are, you should know. Let's put this title in. Title, um, do you like pie? Yes or no. Now, um, let's put color five, which is actually purple. I figured that out today. Um, now you're going to put a space here because this is going to be kind of like a branch so you're going to branch off into two different variables if at one point so you're going to do this and you're going to put CLS which means clear you're going to clear out everything before that um, and every command that you have in there and so you're going to put CLS in and this is your like first variable start off um, one second here let me just see something Okay, sorry about that, I had to do something, but... So, you're gonna type in set, forward slash P. I don't exactly know what this means. I'll try to figure out what it means, and I'll post a video on it. But, let's just skip that for now. So, set, forward slash, or backward slash P. Me, um... And then you're gonna type in pi. I mean, you can type in pi. I'm gonna put in vpi so that I know this is a variable pi that can stand for something. And I'm going to put equals do you like pi. So what this is going to do is it's going to display this text right here and this text whatever you enter in for this text will technically put what this equals. So you're going to be do you like pi and then in parentheses yes slash no. And then 
and you're going to click enter. Do you like pie? Yes or no. And so now, you're going to, um, now that this is your basic here, give me a sec, I'm really losing it here. Got to do something else again. Okay, sorry about that. Actually, I just remembered, you don't actually need the CLS part. You can keep it in there if you want, though. It won't really affect it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so this is your A variable, and what variable pi stands for, what it equals, it's going to be what you enter in. Yes, Y, or N when you enter it in. So what it's going to do is, um, what you're going to have to do here is you're going to see, you're going to say, if the variable if the variable you always put percent signs pi is equal to um yes go to b so this means if you enter in y see if you enter in the variable y for the equivalent of variable pi then you're going to go to section B in this program. And now we're just going to copy this in real quick. Copy this line. And paste. Paste, paste, paste. We're going to change this to C. We're going to have it go to C if it's no. The reason why I have 4 instead of just 2 is because what if someone doesn't have a capital letter like I asked them to do here? They're just stupid, right? So it's going to just it's going to accept a lowercase y too. So now, so now we have an uppercase y, a lowercase y, and uppercase n, lowercase n, and it's going to say like right, to go whatever. And so now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to put this b variable in right here. So you're going to put B. And then you're going to put CLS to clear everything before what just happened because you don't want all you don't want this saying here. So we're going to clear everything that happened before. And it's going to lead to a somewhat you could say new batch program, but it really isn't the same thing. It's to clear everything out. You're going to clear it and now you want to display the text you like pi because it's saying Yes, so we're gonna post a, uh, uh, a reply saying echo you like pi. And then, now I'm gonna teach you how to do that little thing that says, uh, that tells you, uh, that shows press any key to exit instead of press any key to continue. And so, to press any, you're gonna echo press. any key to exit. But of course, right here, this doesn't re this doesn't recognize this as a command. It recognizes it just as displaying that text. But to actually have it work to do press any key to exit, you're going to type in pause. But remember, this shows press any key to continue. But to get rid of that displayment, and hide it and be able to just look at this and press any key to exit and actually have it exit you're gonna pause you're gonna type in pause and then you're gonna do greater than no what this does is anything before this greater than symbol I think that's what how it goes is going to be um, um, it's gonna be like you can say censored but what we're gonna use here is it's not gonna be displayed so basically what we're doing and then you're going to type in exit as a final command but basically what i'm trying to do here is i'm going to try to display this text but still get the same effects of this command but if we hide this command and it only looks like this is here but we have, we're still getting the same result if we press any key and it still leads to this command then you're getting the same output just a different type of um display that you're uh, looking at. So now we're just going to quickly make the C. I'm going to go here faster. And here you can just copy this in. Uh, 
Okay. So, this is your actual batch file that this is completed batch file and you're just gonna save this here okay hey my computer completely froze there um I think it's because I had that question mark in there, probably. Set it to all files so that we can get rid of all of that. There we go. Let's do this. Um, let's run the program. Do you like pie? Yes or no? Oh, and remember at the beginning I said that it changes to purple, so that's color 5 is purple. Type in Y. Lowercase Y works. Press any key to exit. See? It does not display. Press any key to continue. So we're going to give you this again. Okay, and you do not like, you don't like pie. Okay, press any key to continue. So that's basically it. And we're probably going to do some copying, moving, and stuff like that for the next video. Um, uh, look by, let's see if I can get it in by the next day or two, maybe a week, if you, if I'm way too busy. I should have time tomorrow to finish it, so. Yep, um, give me some time, and, uh, if I don't get it in within Christmas, have a nice Christmas. Bye.